the human species has been on the planet for two, three million years, and it's only been the last 10,000 years or so that we've really used war against other groups. And so what we found is that that mostly came when hunter-gatherer societies stopped and settled and started to accumulate stuff. They started to find territory or property that was prime property in terms of fishing or agriculture, um, and then they would start to gather goods, and that brought inequality, and that brought sort of envy from other groups, and that was the beginning of war. But it's only been about 10,000 years that humans have done that. So we're not innately inclined to war, um, but that is an assumption that many hold, that we are, you know, sort of evil people inclined to the use of violence and that we need to really protect ourselves from others. And certainly that is a characteristic of modern society, but it's not something that's innately human. Innately we need each other and depend on each other. We are trying to uh, understand the science of peace. We are trying to uh, begin with the work of anthropologists and political scientists like Doug Fry that have studied peaceful societies and more enduring forms of peace, um, but then branch out into other areas of science, bring in their insights and their information, and start to try to model both the core dynamics but also how all of their research affects those dynamics. Then model it mathematically, make sure, test it against different types of data to see if it's close enough to the core dynamics, um, and then, as I said, sort of build these simulations, these games that would allow policymakers to work sort of generally and understand the unintended or intended consequences of their decisions. Together, the team has been highly effective and fruitful in, over this period of three years, taking what is an immensely complex subject, sustaining peace, um, coming to an understanding of it that is fundamental and then backing into the science that surrounds and affects that in a way that allows us to both understand the core, but also understand that in reality, these things are highly complex.